Ladies and gentlemen, huh? welcome to the Kayak Room. Everyone welcome. Everyone welcome. Yeah. Uh -huh. Everyone welcome to the Kayak yeah. Room. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. saying the good thing is uh what i'm realizing right now too is that the air quality hasn't been too human you know out here where we at you know so we get that funny weather i don't know about anywhere else if y'all just get dry heat you know the humidity or whatever but you know we usually get like that humidity and we making you feel like this when you be walking outside you just be like yeah. Yeah. Sit behind a muffler. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a bus full of that shit just sit there just oh, on you and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That just be having me fucked up. But uh anyways, you know what I mean? Other than that, man, you know, uh took the family out to uh OC, you know what I'm saying, for the weekend, man. The beach was nice. Hope y'all was careful now. Oh yeah, we was real careful, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Using your mask and shit, you know, same old, same old. Right. I think at this point everybody's getting used to, you know. The scenario, you know, what I'm saying the situation with, you know, the pandemic and shit, man, for real. You know, we we are people that we adapt. I don't care where we are. You know, back in the days, you know, they went through their pandemics and went through a lot of shit right. in their lifetime and in different ages and uh, in time and stuff like that, and they survived. We it, we're proof of it because we're here. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hey, it is what it is, man. You know. So other than that, bro, you know. Um, I was sitting here, I had a thought the other day, right? And um, I was watching this news clip about a foster kid. You know what I'm saying? The foster kid was like uh, getting abused and uh, the courts wasn't trying to, you know, hear what was going on or whatever, right? Mm. And um, it was actually a television show. It wasn't even no real life shit, but it made me think of some real life shit because I know some foster kids. You okay, know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, okay. you know, I know some foster kids and it's we like grew up, we grew up with I grew up with a few. Right, you know right. what I mean? And um, you know, it it really puzzled me how social services, all right, 
you know what I'm saying, putting y'all on in the hot seat real quick, you mm -hmm. know, how you all supposed to scream like, you know, where a child's supposed to go. I mean, y'all coming to the home because they're already being abused, right? Mm -hmm. Or whatever it is, neglect or whatever it is, right? Okay. Y'all coming to the house, you know, do your assessments, take the children if necessary, mm -hmm. you know, put them in foster care. But why aren't y'all screening the parents? That, right? Yeah, the foster parents because, you know, I'm hearing, uh, I let my daughters watch. Matter of fact, let me retract a statement I said where it was uh, a fairy tale because it just hit me. Uh, we, I showed my daughters uh, a video of this 21-year-old uh, girl who, you know, at five years old got put in the system. All right? And um, when she got put in the system, her stepdad uh, raped at five years old. Oh. Okay? Mm hmm and uh that. right you know what i mean that uh you know raped that five years old the foster mom wasn't strong enough because she was being abused by the husband as well uh, you did what i'm saying that was right so yeah. it's like i right. but um they kept her in that family mm. she was telling everyone like this was happening so at 11 years old goes on a she started to prostitute herself mm. okay and it was sad to me, man, because, you know, uh, she's 21 now, and she was like, uh, she was like, yeah, um, you know, I've been selling my vagina since I was 11. She was like, don't nobody care about me, you know, uh, I've been told social services what was happening, they didn't believe me, they believed the stepdad, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Man. And I'm just like, yo, why isn't it that, you know, when this happens to people, why is social service so safe from, you know, all these atrocities? Why isn't no one taking them to court or some shit like that? You know what I mean? Like, real talk. Like, let's, let's touch on that. Because, I, you know what I'm saying? I really feel as though in our society today, right? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, social services, child protective services, all these people okay. are supposed to be, what? Child protecting our children if that's the case. What's your, what's your okay. views on that, man? What you think about that? Well, um, you know, first thing I say is, uh, like you said, one of screening. The screening part of the actual parent or client that's in line to actually take care of that child mm -hmm. has to be, you know, analyzed and, you know, they have to be basically background check. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they can hide things yes. that you'll never know. Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? They'll hide things, of course, you know, like you're going for an interview. Yeah. You know, that's their resume for, you know, for Child Protective Service. They're going to go ahead and give them the example of a great person. Yeah. And then once the child gets in there, they like, oh, yeah, look who, you know, Mr. Shining now. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. Fuck up. Saying, yeah. Yeah. Here's Johnny. You, you know, know what I mean? That doesn't get fucked up, man. Yeah. yeah. It's you know, terrorize yeah. these children like that, man. Yeah. And, you know, these children go through... This shit through life, and you know they don't have, like you said, they don't have anywhere to escape, have anywhere to talk to. So if they say something to someone, no one believes. Them. Yeah, at all. You know, and, and it's sad. So they dealing with that pressure. No one believes me. Who can I run to? Who can I talk to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and yeah. and you know the service, like you say, is supposed to be there to protect them. But matter of fact, they actually selling these little guys. Hey. Boy, to the next I, contestant. Man, I'm trying to say that's so how. We don't want to bet too much because you know it's. It's crazy because the system is big, it's powerful, it's more than meets the eye, but the whole system and everything like that, please protect the children, man, because we know from east to west, from west to east, north, north you know, south, south, south to north, and worldwide, mm -hmm. they got people behind the scenes, man, that's ready to, you know what I'm saying, do some other type things to our babies, man. Yeah. And that's another reason why they want to throw certain music out for our young ladies. Right. To listen to, right. you know, make right. them feel as though that it's good to do this way, act that way. Right. And for real, for real, there's no need to act that way because you're already pretty, you're attractive, and you know what I'm saying? You're going to do what you do as a young child, as a young woman, right. or young boy, kid. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now I'm going to do what y'all do, mm -hmm. but it's the certain way that we go about it, and you have to be taught. But, like you say, and as the world keeps throwing, how can I say, uh, they keep throwing, um, Blindfolds, yeah, they, they, they keep, yeah, they keep, they keep, they keep, they keep putting up the facade like 
everything that is bad is good and everything good is bad and that's what the services don't show you because they showing everything good which is bad right you know what i'm saying I, like don't get me wrong some, some of them do though yeah they do help some people out oh, i was you. about to say I'm, 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 give, I'm gonna give and i you know what i'm saying the strong big ups to you know what i'm saying the foster parents that are great foster parents and really you know what i'm saying let's get in let's get an applause man because you know they they really putting in the time and work. Maybe they can have out. their own children. Maybe they have their own children and still, uh, you know, with the they grace of God the and in their heart, yeah. they taking in children that are going through things and helping them out yeah. and they do giving them a better life. There's a lot of success stories and I dig that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know that it's not a lot of light shed on that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It really isn't. You know, it's it's like uh, when they, when we talk about. Uh, those kind of situations and scenarios, you know, it's kind of like, you know, don't nobody want to hear about the dark. They, they don't want to put that, that dark shit. They don't want to bring that dark shit to light. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to continue to happen over and over and over. Oh, it's and daily. Over again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I tell my daughters all the time, Slim, and if you got you got daughters, and uh, you know, don't mean that our sons ain't sons too, you, gotta you know what I'm saying? And, and I took that from Nas, you know what I'm saying? He got a song called uh, Daughters, right? And he's saying that junk, you know what I'm saying? Man. If you got if you got daughters, don't mean that our, you know what I'm saying, our sons ain't important. And that's that's a real statement because, you know, boys. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Because that John fucking with little dudes. Right, you know what I'm saying? saying yeah, like, yeah. They fucking with little dudes too. Those yeah. dudes growing up. Call you up on the phone. Yeah. 13 year old. Right. Yeah. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? Shit, man. Yeah, it's like, what the, what the fuck? Terrible. You know what I mean? And see, that's enough. And that's why when the parents say, you know, social media, this and that. Okay, back in the day, if you say the parent had control over the phone. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can vouch for that. The parent had control of the phone because it was a household. It was a household phone. Yeah. So when you was, it, man, it, it, be, it be fucked up. Excuse me. It be fucked up when you be on the phone, you be rapping. Yeah. And then your mother pick up the phone. Yeah. I gotta use the phone. <laughs> you be like, you be, you be yeah. like, hey, well, she a bad shit. Hit you with some shit. Hey, time like, to hang that shit up. Like, what are you doing? Hey, get off the phone. Get off the phone right now. Hey, and you yeah. spend some good game. You know what I'm hey, saying? Like, <laughs> so. You know what I'm saying? They had control of it, so you had no say. So you know what I'm saying? So boom. Now they made it accessible for everybody to get a phone. They take all the land. You know, what I'm saying? you still have a landline, mm -hmm. but you know they take pay phones out. But if you have a landline, you're just like, oh, my friend has this phone. You know, such and such yeah. has that phone. So yeah. now you want to keep up. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? But if for you wanted a phone or a line, line in your room. Mm -hmm. Like, look, can I get my own line? line? You know right, yeah, like right, right, right. So, historic shit. They don't know about yeah, that. That was the good the parent shit. Had control of all that shit. Right. And they taking, they taking the parents, you know what I'm saying? Kind of the weakness, too. Yeah, and they taking the parents out of the power position. Yep. You dig what I'm saying? They taking the parent out of the power position. And, and they playing on that because, you know, a lot of parents, are, it's not a single parents. Out here, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. And like I told y'all before, I'm like me, I'm one of them. I'm a single mm -hmm. parent, you know right. what I mean? And it's it, it, and it's hard, and I get it, you know what I'm saying? But I tell my daughters all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like when you out there, you know, watch your surroundings now. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? Be out there, John. Don't be out there all gunny and shit. Yeah. You know what hey, I'm saying? Be out there because some dude walked through. He got a car. He might be 21 years old or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, Shawty? You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. You, you learn to be like, whatever. Don't even, thing. don't even, don't even pay no attention. Keep walking. That's another thing we touch on, man. Because you know, it's a lot of uncles out here. Betray to be the uncle. It's a lot of cousins out here. <laughs> betray to be the cousin. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of father figure friends out here that tend to be the father figure mm -hmm. friend. Yeah. And they be freaking praying on the little children at the house. Yeah. Look, so you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You be at the cookout or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all having a cookout, you know what I'm saying? Shorty might go in the house and go, you know what I'm saying? Hey, can you go get the Mac? You know what I'm saying? She go get the Mac and cheese or something. Woo -woo. Somebody going there looking at you. Next thing you know, two weeks later, they come in. Hey, is your folks home? I just want to know Ray Ray home. Yeah. Ray Ray home, no, no, you know what I'm saying? This Uncle Jim and shit. I'm mm -hmm. telling Uncle Jim, dude, what you doing? Uh, can I get some water? Yeah. Motherfucker, you praying like shit on the yeah. people. You know what I'm saying? You just trying yeah. to find out who the hell now home. And it be them split. And it, so and pay it, attention, youngest. And, and that shit happens. Little babies. And that shit happens.
Motherfuckers Sometimes I'm them. under the nose. Like at functions, Slim. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I remember years back there was a situation, Slim, where, you know, a fight broke out because, you know what I'm saying, the folks of the party, I was just a friend, other friend that went to the cookout. Okay. And, you know what I'm saying, we sitting there chilling. It was a good cookout, too, man. Have a good time. Thank and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And man, the little girl came out and said something to one of the cousins, and you know what I'm saying, he was young too. And then that cousin said something to one of the bigger cousins. Mm. You know what I'm saying? One of the, you know what I'm saying? One of the bigger cousins was like, what? Walked up in the house, man, and smashed dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, he smashed, he smashed dude, right? Police came, all this other stuff happened, but it happened right while the function was happening. You know what I'm saying? He grabbed her up, you know what I'm saying? Felt up on her and, you know, the guy like brushed it off, like give me a hug. Right, 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 right. Felt up on her when he got a little hug, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's important to, you know what I'm saying, let our young females out here know, look, I know you want to be grown. I know you want to be sassy. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, think you know all this right. shit. And, you know, you want to be like mom or auntie or like these little Instagram chicks, models and stuff like that. Yeah, it ain't your time. You'll have time for that when you have the mind to be able to carry it. To be able to own it. You know what I'm saying? Be able to be like, you know, yeah, I'm wearing this today, but ain't nobody gonna fucking put no hands on me. You know what I'm saying? For real, you gotta be gay, man. For real, you gotta be gay. You dig what I'm saying, bro? And another thing, you know, uh, that ladies too. Be careful how you put yourself in situations. You know, hey brothers too, little youngers out here, you know what I'm saying? You put in our situations. You know, you go on the little house parties or you go see a chick on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. She live on the other side. No, damn. Hey, damn well, you know, damn well, you really know you like, all right, I fucked with y'all, you gonna tell her to beat you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, matter of fact, you know they got Uber now. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all lucky as a motherfucker. Hey, y'all got Uber. Right. Y'all got everything at the touch, you know what I'm saying? Right. So sometimes that's not good because you're not learning the discipline. You're not learning what it's called. We had to say was consequences. Yeah. So, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, is that quick saying right there? What that saying? You go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? You would test it out for a quick second. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to jump over, you're going to do what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. But it was consequences. A lot. And now it's like, y'all, you know, it's, it's a touch of a button. Yeah, so there's no real consequence behind it until you do it, you know what I'm saying? You can, mm -hmm. you behind the screen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. it's crazy, I, you know, Hey, you know what I'm saying? Moving moving on, I mean, moving back to what I was saying about, you know, like uh, the little shorty that was in a situation with the social service uh, situation, man. It was real sad because, you know, all of us, if you, you know, like I said, if you got, if you got daughters and you're looking at your daughters right now and you're seeing them and they growing up, you remember them when they was just little bitty bobbers, man. You know what I'm saying? Walking around the house, daddy, or mommy, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Doing their little thing. Now you're seeing them, they getting little, uh, you know what I'm saying, bee stains, they getting little bumps, you know what I'm saying? In different places, they growing up and you're looking at them, you know, protect them, yo. You know what I'm saying? Protect them. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you protect them because... That's that sex slave trade shit. I said sex slave trade, but that sex trade uh, shit, yeah, man, pretty much that, that shit is real. It exists. Yeah, that take shit is real. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's, uh, I mean, it's hundreds, yeah. if not thousands, missing from the DMV area. You man, we got a lot of young ladies from the DMV area, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The South Side. And they have to be black. Maryland, you know what I'm saying? The PG side, you know what I'm saying? They had a couple incidents in Montgomery County, but. It's just sad, man, because you know what they're doing? they targeting children, man. They are. You know, they, they have Halloween, children getting kidnapped on Halloween. Yep. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, how the time. You know what I mean? Shit like yeah. that. Like, man, it's, let me share, can I, if you don't mind, can I share a story with you? And I think I already told you this, but I'm going to share it with you guys, man. When I used to live in Rhode Island, uh, Providence, Rhode Island, so now, we used to live on the south side of uh, Providence, Rhode Island. There was ice cream trucks riding around, so them ice cream trucks, you know what I'm saying? Niggas had on the uh the clown masks, huh. you know what I'm saying? Or the clown makeup. <laughs> With the song playing? You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. ding, 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 oh, ding, no. You know, kids come running and shit, and they be like, come, come, come. She egg them jobs. Yeah, I swear so. to goodness, <laughs> them, they, was, they were snatching babies. They were snatching I bet. kids. I bet. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like one of what about I don't remember his name. Damn. I remember his face. I do not remember his name because I was a kid myself. 
But you know, Younger went up in that jump, man, and me and my cousin seen that nigga get snatched. Cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Now, I've seen some, you know what I'm saying? Not in a situation where, um, you know, they've had wild situations where I've been riding, right? And um, I'm not sure if I was in Northeast or I was in the town. And um, I was actually riding, and one night, it happened to be wild shit going on, right? Mm -hmm. So, and when you say some taking type shit, you know what I'm saying, when the van pull up, yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. you know what I'm saying, so we riding, mm -hmm. and we having to come to the light, so it's like, you know what I'm saying, you got to be, you at the light, yeah, but you, it's, it's late as a motherfucker, like three, yeah, so I'm, I'm chilling, I'm in the back, I'm like, boom, I'm laid back, next thing I know, I just see, and the cut, but it was like way up the street, Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, have, like, DC, PG, certain places, we have a lot of hills. Yeah. You know, so it's like when you look at it, you look at the hill, you can see the car drive pop. You know what I'm saying? On an angle, but on the hill. Mm -hmm. And you can see the motherfuckers just child, like tussling. So I don't know if they was fighting, but it looked like they was fighting and then they fell into the car. Uh -huh. But I seen shoes that look like it's a rod. They look like, like I can see how one of them, I can see the type shit. You know what I'm saying? They look like yeah. that's right. And I was like, oh, damn. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. But this is before we had phones mm -hmm. or all type of shit. So we cruising. You know, I'm like, oh, damn. So main man driving, not driving. You know what I'm saying? So main man driving. I'm like, oh, I'm like, the fuck is that? I'm like, damn. It looked like main man, he was trying to like toss her up a little bit, mm -hmm. like going with the car or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I was so, you know what I'm saying? Out of my mind. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn, bro, this shit happens to the spin of a second. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Drop up. That shit crazy. Damn. I remember when we was in high school. Different countries, that thing go down every minute. Yeah. I remember when we was in high minute. school, uh, dog. Hey, uh, you know what I'm saying? It was me, you, uh, Mike Dern. You know what I'm saying? Peace to y'all niggas, dog. By the way, you know what I'm saying? Miss y'all niggas, love y'all niggas all day. Uh, you know, um, we was riding and you know what I'm saying? We was chilling. We was going in the city too. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Some pimp shit going on. It's some snatch junk. My buddy snatched snatch the shorty in the car. I'm always it was that. Right by us. And I was like, oh, did that just happen? You know that what I'm saying? I was saying it's the same night because I was out of it. That's why I was like, I'm out of it like this. I'm coming with toast. And I was like, did I just see that? that yes. All I seen was 11. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, and the shoe was just like, woo. I was like, hold on, did I just see that shit? And this is before we had phones. Yeah, and he yeah. not driving, so we took and we me and him hit the Yeah. Oh, did you see that yeah, shit? Yeah, I was like, what the I know that's so, what you talk about. Yeah, bro. But I, my whole thing is swore, that's what I'm saying you know, that night. I that's was somebody, close. that's somebody, son, that's Ooh. doing it to somebody. Go on, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And regardless of how we look at it, we hip hop artists, you know what I'm saying? I, I love music. You know what I'm saying? And I understand that pimp shit real. You know what I'm saying? The streets, there's a lot of shit in the streets that are real. Yeah. That, uh, that yeah. uh, a lot of people that don't and haven't experienced it, they don't understand, you know, uh, the degree of how how serious that shit is. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't never lived in no hood, if you ain't never lived like in an area that was even, you know, remotely close to the hood. Cause even the outskirts of the inner cities, they be rough ass little neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't never experienced that. Somebody cousin and moved in that boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it set shit off, you know what I'm saying? Came up that jump, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I look at it like this, you know, what you, I'm about to use your saying, y'all, yo, for real. Teach one, each one, teach one. Not really. You know what I'm saying? For real. Each one, teach one. That's what, you know what I'm saying? That's really what it's about, man. For real. Check out motherfucking children out here, man. For real. Because the generation, that's our generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, heat game. When we gone, they here. So, it's like, all right, you know, we didn't have granddad. Granddad, we didn't lost granddad. I'm not sure if, you know what I'm saying? You guys didn't still have y'all grandfather here. But it's like, okay, yeah, they rest in peace to mind, you know, and rest in peace to mind. And the and the and the ones that's out here watching, you know, that when they was here, they went through the slavery. And don't forget that, that ain't happened, but not too long ago. That was only like sixty years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they witnessed, they are witnessed certain things, and they went through certain things. So now, what we witnessed through, and now our kids, they witnessed the coronavirus. So look, this is this is another thing. How are you gonna go to school? They, this is this is hurting my babies too, man. My kids, man. My children. Yeah. Right? But you know, we talking about 
social distances. But you know, that's the first thing that kids want to do is socialize. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's the. Come on, man. Especially with little ones. Little ones, you telling a baby mm -hmm. or a toddler, oh, don't go by that little kid. He can go by that too. Mm -hmm. so, and, then, and then the babies, why they like, why we got masks on? Right. They so confused, man, mm -hmm. right now. But the world has made a turn. And the children of today, we got to realize that y'all understand that we got to have people that's more serious in certain things we need that's more important out here. You know, I know we got your singers, you guys, you know, your actors, you got things like that. But you need, you know what I'm saying, we need more doctors. Because the motherfucker, when your ass catch something, what's the first thing you be like, oh shit. You know, they scared though, though. Yeah. You know, but you know, you, you touched on something with the singers and, and you know what I'm saying, the singers and shit, man. You know, as artists, shit, man. you know, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, we was discussing this earlier about, um, you know, hip hop and where we see it at now. Because in the female lineage of hip hop, you know, it done change. Like, don't get me wrong, I ain't hating on y'all females because y'all y'all banging it out out there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Y'all y'all actually carrying this shit like y'all niggas. Like, y'all some dudes. You know what I'm saying? But in a female aspect. And it's good to hear that side of the story because it's real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It is real. I like you know what I'm saying? Flow. Yeah, I it's, do, it's, it's real, I man. And they talk about, from a female perspective, uh, how I get money, how I'm doing this, certain situations they're going through. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, um... What I've been hearing lately, you know what I'm saying, it's just been, you know, uh, it ain't Lil' Kim, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't Trina, it ain't, you know what I'm saying, like these females today, they going hard, you know what I'm saying, where it's just like straight up, like, look at my, look at my ass, look at my tits, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, whatever, but, and you, you know what I'm saying, you touched on that earlier when you was talking about you know how look at where we came look at where we came from to where we are now we supposed to be moving forward not backwards mm -hmm. you know you had certain female groups name a few what um queen latifah and them um three five seven well three five seven i want to say uh, yeah. that but she actually yeah. introduced them but yeah. queen latifah falls for female mm -hmm. rapper female salt artist. and pepper salt and pepper nah uh -huh. moni in the middle moni yes. moni that's the song was it yeah well that's that was the sign. Sign. Yeah. was that a group the dudes or that was the, the what was the broad group that they had though because i remember they was with them Super Sign. But yeah. they had a song called Super Sign. okay but they you had the females yeah, right. in that joint right okay you know what i'm saying and but mc light yeah you know oh, light Peace to you, you know what I'm saying? MC Light was on, yeah. Oh, yeah bro, you MC know. Light was there, yeah. She was that light yeah. for real, you know what I mean? Toast to you, Sean. You know, but you had like uh, so many different female artists. Boss? Oh, yeah, Boss was Lady Rage. Man, Ray, come on, you know what I'm saying? So, Rage kept it real. You know. She didn't bring that sensuality. She brought it to how shit really is on the everyday. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, everyday yeah. woman, everyday. You, you might be right, right. but you might be raised at the bus stop. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the chick, the chick that come outside with her motherfucking do rag on. You know what I'm saying? Got her head done. She got a roller. Still got no noodles on the pot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Got a baby on her hip. Right, right. Get your you know what I'm saying? And got a little piece. You know what I'm right. saying? Tucking and shit right. like yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have so many different perspectives, and you know, moving into like R&B. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite artists, Erica Badu. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Who, 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 who I was, you know what I'm saying? Bringing in that, she pulling in that vibe, son. You know what I'm saying? I used to listen to Eric and Joe. I used to be like, oh, she talking to me. You hey. know what I'm saying? Because every man, every man on this planet, regardless if he, you know what I'm saying, thinks he don't want it or not, what you looking for when you out there looking for a female? What attracts you? Her motherfucking body. And then when you see her face, then you like, damn, y'all are cute too. And then when she talk, it's like, oh, hey, she's strong too. Now she just, That's you know right. what I'm saying, gully because of some other shit that happened. Nobody taught her properly or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Certain niggas would take advantage of the situation. But, you know, big up to Erica Badu for shining light, you know what I'm saying, in the uh, R&B, in the R&B Especially world. at that time. Yeah, Especially at that, at that time. time. And before her, Definitely. One of my other favorites, dog, Murray J. Blige. Oh, my queen. Baby. You know what I'm saying? 
Mary J. Blige, boy. I remember, boy, I used to have a crush on you when I was nah. like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Mary J. Blige was there, and she was dancing and stuff, she was doing her shit. But she was speaking, she was speaking, I mean, speaking uh, real heartfelt stuff that females was going through. Yeah. Shit that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We was too, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying we was too young, but I'm just saying we was just reaching that age as teenagers. Well, for me, you know what I'm saying, as a teenager, that I see my mom go through. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Or I see like older cousins go through some shit like that. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And I be like, damn, mm. that shit real. What she talking about? Yeah. She got deep in it, man. So big up to the lady artists out here, man, that uh, you know, laying it down. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give, you know what I'm saying, some props to, you know, I don't know what you think about Cardi B. Cardi B and uh oh. and, 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 and Nicki Minaj. Well, uh what you I, think about those two? All right, well, those two, to me, take on, hey, don't get it fucked up, babes. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with y'all, in a sense. But far as on the level of that, what I seen coming up in the rap note, I seen you, you ladies took on an image of rap. Not saying y'all can't flow, but y'all mostly took up on the image, the sexy image, and you know what I'm saying, that, that persona right there. Now, when I say, like, Lord Hill, MC Light, Boss, they really didn't have to take yeah, on. They didn't really. Have to, they didn't really have to like show ass or do nothing like that. Not saying that nothing wrong with it, but what I'm saying is, as far as with their flows or with their persona, they were just like the regular individual female. Like you say, we meet at the subway. Not saying I can't meet you at the subway, but that's not the persona that you put on. So yeah. the persona of them was just an everyday woman. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, she just happened to have some like, clothes. You know she yeah. mix with. She mix with a group of guys. Right, but not the same thing. Oh. That shorty right there, I'ma smash that junk to the shorty looking this way. She just might be over there chilling, woo woo woo. And you just respect her on the level like, damn. You be like, hey, what's up, this lady? And she be like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, it's Amen. not more revealing, but now that I said, when I said you took on the image, not saying I'm not taking from that talent. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Hands down. So the Hands. image that you took on, yeah, per se, from what we saw mm -hmm. back then, it was more of a lady just from that was showing real shit. In the hood, pretty you much. You know what I'm saying, yeah. and not just in the hood, show but that. you know, just in reality. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So you know, uh, I, I I dig that. You know what I'm saying, and that's you know, how my comparison. And you know, hands down, Nicki Minaj and, and Cardi B, man. You know what I'm saying. I want to just stress y'all because man, y'all music is tight. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Hands down, the shit bop. You know what I'm saying. It's hot. It's going. You know what I'm saying. And I think a lot of y'all songs are going to be played and going to be able to stand the test of time. Right, you know right. what I mean? Real talk. But I'm just saying, like, I want to hear something new from y'all. You know what I'm saying? I heard Cardi say one day, she was like, shit, you know, I try to give y'all motherfuckers something real good, da 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 da, you know what I'm saying? On that deep conscious shit that y'all ain't want to hear. Real so, real audience, real that's real talk. She had a real valid motherfucking point when she said that because, you know, everybody talking about, oh, hip hop is some bullshit or this and that. But at the same instance, when you do have conscious rappers that come forward and really start spitting that real shit, like back in the uh, uh, you know um, early '90s, because the early '90s was that era where niggas was like you know uh, you know Public Enemy, you know uh, you had uh, uh, you know just had a whole lot of artists out there. You know it was so many conscious artists. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I know I keep going back to KRS One, but he started shit in the '80s. Slick Rick, you know what I'm saying? With Hey Young World, a lot you of people don't even know that song. They'll yeah. diss that, but you know they'll diss that song. They're dissing. You they know, know what I'm saying? They really would. Like, wow, but nice. they can't because Rick, shit, Slick Rick, he ran. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just that. a storyteller. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? I mean, you had Nas. You know what I'm saying? Nas was banging out, uh, you know what I'm saying, nice jumps, you know what I'm saying, before he became uh, Esco. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even still, when he became Esco, you know what I'm saying, he still was dropping jewels in that jump. Yeah. Mob deep. For, you know what I'm saying? They can catch it, they can catch yeah. it, man. You had niggas out in the South handling their motherfucking business, you know what I'm saying? Bun and them. You yeah. had niggas out in Houston, hey. Scarface. Scarface been yeah. handling his shit since the early 80s. You know what I'm saying? Hey, NWA. I mean, it's just so many people and they was like putting on there. I guess my question to you is this, man. You know, listening to hip hop back then because everybody's saying, um, I heard, uh, I can't remember my homeboy name, I think it's Lil Yachty. Uh, I seen him in an uh, interview and there's no disrespect, big up to Lil Yachty, you know what I'm saying? But I heard him say in an interview one time, he was like, shit, 
niggas don't rap like Scarface no more. You know right. what I'm saying? Nobody try to rap like yeah. that. Uh, face, but my thing is like this. If I was to say comparisons from the 90s to now, you can tell every rapper back then or artist, put it right there, the artist, you'd be like, oh, in that such and such? Mm -hmm. Oh, in that such and such? Mm -hmm. Now, it might be like five dudes or like eight of them, but all of them sound alike. Yeah, and it's like, damn, I can't really distinguish who's. Yeah, no variety, really. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? And, and it's like one whole yeah. section, one whole joint is, I can't even, I'm like, shit. I be asking my son, who the fuck is this? Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> who's they? They like, all sound like that. Yeah, nigga, I'm telling them, telling them. So <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to differentiate who's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just giving them props. Like, oh, shit, I'm going to listen to their music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, all right, bet. Yeah. So I asked him, I'm like, young, who's here? Because he sound, he's like, nah, nah, that's uh, such and such. I'm like, damn, he sound just like. He be like, he'll tell me. Nah. I'm like, they do. He be like, nah, I'm like, yeah. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? It's, that, that should be wild <laughs> in that sense, though. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. A lot of you youngest, man, I just want to tell you that's in the hip hop artist. You know, that's hip hop artist, man. Keep doing your thing. Y'all niggas out there, y'all fire, yo. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Your beats is high. You know what I'm saying? I Differentiate I'm, your shit, though. Yeah. But keep it, keep it moving. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, you know, like you and I both know, you know what I'm saying? Like you have singles that you're gonna put out, and those singles they're gonna ride, they're gonna do what they gotta do. But it really boils down to the album, you know what I'm saying? If I if I'm listening to your album, right. then I wanna hear variety. I can't sit there and listen to the same song and the same content through every song throughout the whole album. Like if I got twelve songs, I'm gonna be like, slam that down some God, because simple fact you ain't bringing nothing different. Learn from the greats before us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the greats in my era, and the greats in your era. You know what I'm saying? That done took on a persona, or not even persona, but you know, like grab hip hop and know what hip hop is all about. Because each you know one I mean? had to teach one. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. And someone yeah. had to learn from somebody, or I don't give a fuck if you was hey. an engineer, if you was a carpenter. If you was, even if you was inspired by a rapper, you know what I'm saying? You still had to catch a sense or learn. Matter of fact, I learn. I look before before I'm gonna say before people even knew about rappers, motherfuckers probably didn't even know they was writing. They thought all like I don't know, maybe singers just wrote this song, mm -hmm. but not knowing that certain rappers, you know, when they got to the, if you get to a certain level, if you don't, you know, have to do that. Then you know what I'm saying? You being blessed with that talent. Yeah. But then when it comes to certain ones that actually write down their material, mm -hmm. it's like, man, man, you know what I'm saying? That was pretty good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You guys yeah. just sit there and you know what I'm saying? You progress right. that. Right. Right. You know, if it really made me think, but if it made me like think, I'm like, oh man. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Next. Right. 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 <laughs> Fuck out of here with that shit. I'm like, I'm gonna be like Stacy on minutes, man. Get this shit out of my ride. Right. right. I can't even throw your CD out my motherfucking time. I got. It. I can't even get no more skips on Pandora, you motherfucker. Because it's in your ass, because it's your ass. Cause your, I can't get no more skips, because your ass. So next time this shit play, I'm gonna fuck around, nigga. I'm gonna turn oh, that bitch off. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, you know, man. Yeah. But nah, it's, it's love, though, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, but it's all, it's all good, man. But I, you know, I, I was. <laughs> that's some funny ass shit. That's real. Mm. Just say like, that shit out of here, man. But, you know. Just uh, being a hip hop artist, man, and uh, loving what we do, you know, our craft, building it, it's, it's time to really start just uh, keep continue doing what we do. But at the same time, man, show some love, you know what I mean? Show yeah. some love, you know what I mean? So we, we showing y'all niggas some love, man. We do, we all do it all day, because we'll go to somebody's party, we'll go to a different artist's party, and things like that, you know, network, mm -hmm. and, you know, mingle through the party, you know what I'm saying, certain situations. And, um, you know, actually have a good time because we actually observing certain people, they, you know what I'm saying, they're talking to us, we're networking and things like that. It might not be a show or nothing like that, right. but it just be a certain performance that we go on to pay tribute yeah. to these folks. Right. And they're right. like, see, we glad y'all came out. Right. And that's how it be, though, right. trust me. You know right. what I'm saying? That's how it be. We, 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 we're we support. So what you saying that, right? Not to switch the subject or whatever, but I'm going to bring it back to D.C. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we want to bring it back to 202, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring it back down here real quick. Uh, I've been rocking with Bat Y'all lately, you know what I'm saying? In the, in the jump, man. What's oh, going on? on? Yeah.
you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you think going on with the go-go scene and all these new millennials moving in in that situation when they was talking about they wanted to get rid of go-go? Well, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Hell nah. Like, go-go is the heartbeat of the District of Columbia. Yes, you know what I'm saying? The man it's don't want to add it. If Barry was still at all, he'd yeah. be like, man, hey, y'all get that shit the fuck out of here. <laughs> but look, <laughs> you don't want to do what? Right. Right, you know what I mean? But look, honestly, um, because this this way, I right, look, I'm gonna fuck your head up because you can take Democrats, mm -hmm. Republicans, liberals, mm -hmm. Obama, yeah, Trump, mm -hmm. and we take a couple go-go bags downtown, fire up a barbecue pit, get some coolers. I don't give a fuck if you got Caucasians out there, Spanish, Black, Asian. When the music, Asians, and that shit stop even, playing. You can even have, you know what I'm saying, all nationalities out there. When the music is the plan, you're going to start moving because it's, it's, it's live instruments. Yeah. That one is not just the keyboard. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We, it's we drums, not just, it's you got, you got, you got you know musicians out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bass plug, they all that your rockin'. You know what I mean? So it's live music, and when you have live music, it's soy sauce. You know what I mean? Hey, definitely. Yeah. Huh? And when you have live music, it does something to you. Yeah, it do. You know what I'm saying? It, it moves. You know what I'm saying? It, I don't care because it's just like bands. When you go to when you go to any you know band, jazz bands, any, like yeah. that, rock bands, the any music band. actually moves you. So the live music and the liveness of that, you like, damn, I'm right there. You know what I'm saying? So you're hearing the live instruments playing right in front of you. Like, damn, Slim was actually talented over there playing that, like you say, bass. Right, right. Slim over there hitting the guitar. He's sweating. He's on the horns and shit. You know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. It's a good time. And, you know, it's hard to say. And I'm going to say same with, um, I've seen reggae artists play. Mm -hmm. They've done the same thing with live instruments. If you've been yeah, to one yeah, show, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yes, yes, Yo, yes. Yo, Trinidadians yes. with the steel. Still up, brethren. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's For real. that live mm -hmm. instrument. And what happened was DC was able to master certain live instruments. Yes. But you got musicians from all over them. Yeah. He's been with bands, maybe with a rock band, but he didn't transfer it over to now. He say, oh, I don't want to do rock no more. Mm -hmm. I want to do jazz. I just want to chill. Right. Well, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily say he want to mellow his life out, but he might not be in trade in the rock. He might, like, he's not going to do a live show like that, but he'll do something in a little cut or like a little small hole in the wall. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or Columbia Road or something like that. Yeah. Do, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he still likes the vibe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yep. he's still, you know what I mean, on this little instrument. Man. So, you man, we. Doing the damn thing with that motherfucker go-go shit. Don't get it fucked up. Anybody man. everywhere in the world who don't know about DC, man, come on out here, man, and check out all the go-go bands out here, man, and all the live musicians that's doing their thing. You know what I mean? They're cooling. We also have, uh, you know what I'm saying, a strong, strong pull with hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? That's starting to come up. You know what I'm saying? Especially in DC. Area, Especially in DC, man. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Check out some of the artists out there, man. You know, uh, D Speller. CML. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Kayak Room. We're going to take a short break. Be right back at you. Be right back at you, bro. Uh -huh. Everyone, welcome to the Kayak yeah, Room. Uh -huh. yeah. Ladies, welcome, fellas, once again, to the Kanyak Room. Now, it's welcome. Man, it's welcome. Right, 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 right. welcome. Right. What's up, man? All right. What's going on? We're back here again. All right, ladies, welcome. Nope. Oh, yeah, it's fellas, once again, right? No, it's, uh, ladies, welcome. <coughs> fellas, once again. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. All right, ready? Right. Yeah, we feeling a little fucked up right now. These are the bloopers. <laughs> right, right, we gonna do it. Oh, shit, so we gonna like, oh, yeah, choppy right. chop. What's going on, y'all? All right, ladies, welcome. Fellas, once again, welcome, welcome to the Kanye room. To the Kanye room. room, you know what I'm saying? Right so, you know, what we left off at, we're gonna move on from there, you know what I'm saying? Letting y'all know that, you know, hip hop artists, you know, man, we gotta, we gotta step our game up, man. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. gotta step our game up because there's a lot of music from, you know, going back as far as the 70s. Curtis Blow, 
You know what I'm saying? That still stands the test of time right now. You dig what I'm saying? So our music is just not, I, you know what I'm saying? And when I say our music, meaning where we are in hip hop right now, you're, you know what I'm saying? When you all get older, you know what I'm saying? Y'all songs being played, the millennials and generations after, they should be able to sit back and say, yeah, I, I like that joint. You know what I'm saying? For, yeah. for whatever reason, hey, hey, I'm playing devil's advocate here, right? <laughs> for whatever reason, I feel as though like there's gonna be a lot of artists where the music can be played, but a lot of people ain't gonna fuck with it. Because we as the human species, we are always evolving. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're always evolving to certain sounds, certain bounds, certain whatever, you know, the algorithms, everything. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, when we was kids, it's just funny that we could listen to Frankly, you know what I'm saying, the Frankly Belly and Mapes. It's still cranking that jump. When you hear that jump, bam, 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 oh, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? Like, we be in this show, like, and we was kids, like, bam, 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 You know what I'm saying? But look, but you know what that comes from? For real, for real, if you peep it, that comes from DJs. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? And parents, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, sometimes you get to playing music in the house. Kids be like, what the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? They get to ride in the car. They ain't got no choice. You're going to listen to it. They're going to listen to it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, no. DJs, you guys got to understand, like, even the ones, like, that radio garbage, that how they be playing the same song, continuation after continuation, the same song. Hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. But it's like they keep doing the key is wrong in the sense where, okay, you know you want to hear that, but in a DJ as far as a party, that's one thing where motherfuckers really get to hear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, you know, they might take them back to a Ludacris, might take them back to a T.I., might take them back yeah. to a Lil John, might take them back to a uh, Young Jock, a little Scrappy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The DJ start getting back. You know what I'm saying? The whole time, people still partying, but they don't even know. They're like, who is that? You know what yeah. I'm saying? But not knowing, yeah. you see what I'm saying? They got the party rocking, but you know what I'm saying? Like you said, it, it has to be able to, like, um, honestly, you know, we need to make a trend again, man. For real, for real. So we need to start making trends, trends mm -hmm. and this shit again. Cause, yeah. You know, a lot of music is starting to take a turn. And mm -hmm. when I say that, it's like... It's starting to convert back, man, to, you know, conscious music. You know, wrong with that. People want to... It depends on what you mean by the, you know... When I say conscious music, meaning, like, uh, shit that's really happening in the street, not just gangster music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like uplifting music. You know, uh, what we say, uh, feel good music. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Starting to go back to that era right now. You know what I'm saying? As far right. as like what I've noticed, like uh, uh, underground rappers. You know what I'm saying? Because see, mm -hmm. a lot of people just look at mainstream. Mm -hmm. Mainstream is what you hear on the radio. But you got millions of, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say millions. That's probably a far-fetched number. But I'm just saying, you got hundreds, hundreds of thousands of rappers that coming up that know they got talent and they are you know really putting out music on youtube and you know all these other platforms right mm -hmm. and the shit is tough it's nice it's like looking through a camera lens you know what i'm saying you get a chance to say what's on your mind your heart your spirit through your own lens mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and yeah. you're part of the world you're part of the city you're part of the town you're part of the street Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Because right. everybody always talk about and put it in, you know, quote unquote, the streets. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Like, yeah. you know, come on, man. Yeah, like, I'm so too hood. Yeah, I'm so you know what I'm saying? We so street, like, we so just, hood. Yeah, we getting this music. bread, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the streets and rap, no, the streets and uh, entertainment going to go together, bro. Yeah, and, and, you know, to me, I look at it like this. Okay, you got a shorty out there junk that's banging the streets out, you know what I'm saying, doing what we gotta do, you know, whatever it is he's doing. But then you got a shorty over there that, you know, he a party nigga. Maybe he throwing his parties. Maybe he just cooling, relaxing, chilling. He got a whole bunch of females that fuck with him. They coming through, they always just partying and chilling, you know, like the DJ scene. Mm -hmm. But then you got that cat that sit back and watch all the madness in his neighborhood, right? And he right about that shit. All the time. And what's fucked up about, you know, these industry niggas, and I ain't talking about the hip-hop artists and the RBRs, we talking about the powers in it. They are strategically removing conscious rap. Definitely. 
up out of the scene. They brushing it slowly, real small sweeps. You know what I'm saying? Just getting, you know, like now, we won't, we won't, we won't push that. Because you awakening the people if you let conscious rap do. Back in, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying, dog? Right. I mean, they don't want, in a sense, where, um, if you kind of like make it some sense, <laughs> you know, like I could say, um, you know, you got certain rappers out here that, um, that honestly, pretty, they, they, they do well. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When I say do well, as far as music wise. Yeah, I ain't just talking about like they just pushing anything out and you know they got the market and promotion behind them making it seem like they're doing more than what they're doing because that should be garbage. Right. You know what I'm saying? But in a sense where, damn, certain ones you like, yeah, I'm really got some, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Some music, I should actually play in my car. Same way you might feel about me, but man, Slim shit, some garbage. Right. Woo woo woo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, all right, right. right. Same shit. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? In a sense, that I do give certain people a chance. Like, if I don't know it and I haven't heard of it, then I can't, like, like I never heard it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no so hater. You know, the music. Yeah. I ain't even heard of shit. Yeah. So you can't really say nothing about it. But, you know what I'm saying? If I heard it and I'm like, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I produce music too. Mm -hmm. In a sense, where it's, so it's like, mm, uh, uh, yeah, you hear it. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? I'm you like, like, wow. You had to jump, just be like, that, 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 I mean, I, and then I start looking at the music uh, end of it. I'm like, okay, the production sounds great. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, okay, now. Now I'm looking at the, the aspect of the actual artist. Yeah. I'm looking mm -hmm. at the artist now. You know what I'm saying? Same motherfucker be analyzing me. You know what I'm saying? One of those. Yeah. Like, right, 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 right. But when I listen to it, and I'm like, all right, if you get, if I can catch something I can relate to, mm -hmm. or just catch a vibe, I'm like, damn. Yeah. All right. Right. Like, man, man, that's your right, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. You know, so vice versa, female mm -hmm. too. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit, yeah. man, y'all, you rocking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, mm. Right. But then you got, same way you guys have some feeling about if they could be a car, you like, man, a car ugly as shit. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. You're right. You be like, man, mm -hmm. man, you, I don't like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But there's thousands of other people that do, and you know what I'm saying? That shit goes around like a motherfucking, um, Carousel, yeah, you know what I'm saying? First or something mm -hmm. like that. So just go round and round and round. But the authenticity of the music, please keep that shit real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I say real, just not just uh, uh when I say that, I'm glad you spoke on that because you have ease, you have you have music artists. in there. You have artists that are really authentic. When I mean authentic, is you know really from the street. Really handling their business, really been at, and like living that life, really been in that game, you know what I'm saying? And that's what they know and that's what they talk about. And it's funny that you can, well, I don't know about you and I don't know about you viewers, but I know that sometimes when I hear certain people rap about certain things, I can kind of distinguish like, yeah, I think Young is just doing it for the entertainment purpose, or you know what I'm saying? And Young and over here, he really lived that life because of certain shit he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Just keep your motherfucking craft real, man. You know what I'm saying? And by all means, that's her. Get your money. You know what I'm saying? Steve Harvey. Yeah. Steve Harvey put it best. He said, fake it till you make it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I see a lot of artists, they taking on the personas. And I think we touched on this on a couple episodes back where, you know, when we grew up in our era, you had the reality rappers and the conscious rappers who talking shit. Then you had the niggas that, you know, took the personas of like Italian mobsters. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, or, you know, gangsters or, you know what I'm saying? And, and another thing, too. Blah, blah, blah. That's another thing. They were artists that actually stayed in their lane. You know, we, had, like we had artists that stayed in their lane. Every artist that came more wasn't the trapper. But every artist wouldn't come out. Oh, he pulling his sticks out and he busting Mac tens and mm -hmm. you got something to do it. But it's like now everybody's a gangster. Everybody. When when did that happen? Like there was never lanes. Like it was yeah. always different lanes. Motherfucker, you had a dancing group. Right. You know what I'm saying? Kid play. Hey, for real, for real. and they made movies, bro. I fucks with kid play, bro. I yeah. Know You know what I mean? Yeah. That group, they stayed in their lane. They lost soul. They lost soul. A group, group you'll never, you know what I'm saying? Y'all never give them a chance. Child called Quest. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Fight. What? Fight Q-Tip. Peace. You know what I'm saying? Peace. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. Shit like that where the youngest, you know what I'm saying? They probably like, I don't hear that one, I don't hear that bullshit. But mm -hmm. if 
you was to say, all right, get that joint a chance, same way we give you a chance, or same way, it's like a food taste test. You know, some shit spicy, yeah. some shit I, right. yep, some shit nice, huh? right. some shit be like, mm. and then some shit you look at that bowl, you be like, what the fuck is mm -hmm. that? So Sometimes you gotta all around the board, board. So you be like, nah. So it's all around the board. You know, you take your nap and you shoot, mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, fuck that shit. <laughs> but you know, uh, I want to ask you some personal, not personal questions, but I'm going to ask you some questions, you know what I'm saying, uh, to see a male, man, you know, um, as an artist, you know, you got a song that's about to drop, you know what I'm saying, we're going to keep this, mm -hmm. keep it undercover right now, because I know you're working hard at it, and it's still in there, but you know what I'm saying, and I'm, I'm stoked about the shit, you know what I'm saying, because I rock to that shit every day in my car, like you know what I'm saying, that shit is in my rotation, right, right, right. you know, uh, what's your plans? You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as like, uh, uh, well, not your plans. What's your What's your goal? What you What you trying to? You know what I'm saying? Go through. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, proceed to the people. What are you trying to let the people know through that particular song that's dropping? You know what I'm saying? It's not my place to let them know the title and stuff like right, that. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? That's on you. You know what I mean? Well, um, you know, I, I'm working on a project right now. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not it's it's finished, but it's um, we haven't let it release yet. Okay. And it's not actually finished because you know what I'm saying. It's still some um, some seasoning. Okay. It needs to be you know what I'm saying. Add the fires, you know what I'm saying. Promotional use and uh, performance and shit like that. But the right. coronavirus has you know what I'm saying done some things in that situation. Yeah. But what I'm trying to do and implement in my music is um, actually is touch um, different. Nationalities, when I say nationalities, different places, different people in the world. Yeah. But they can actually, and my actual, you know what I'm saying, hometown too. Yeah. So, you know, I'm trying to basically give a sense where it's, a, it's a, uh, like a, a structural plan. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, I'm engineering shit. Yeah. Well, when I say engineering, I'm engineering um, the music to enlighten and open the ears. Yeah, of certain, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Certain ones. And so, my job is to make music for um, generations beyond, you know what I'm saying, like our children. Yeah. Same way, you know, Pop, Biggie. You're right. Things right. like that. I want to have something that's going, you know what I'm saying, make it, you know what I'm saying, a little impact. So, let me ask you this. Um, who inspired you, you know, in the game? <clears throat> You know, as uh, you know, whether it's music, you know, rhythm and blues, whatever it is, you know, who inspired you when you was coming up? Who's who's rocking in your, you know, cause see, they don't know about this. You know, your headphones, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You right. know, stuff like that. What they call Walkman, you walk know what I'm saying? Walk like your Walkman and shit back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MP3s. Yeah. Well, y'all yeah. ain't fucking right. Y'all ain't doing MP3s away too. <laughs> hey, it's just phones you now. Know, but, you know, in that era, who, for real, for real, like, inspires you, man, to, like, really, like, you know, when you started rapping, you, that thought in your head, like, damn. Well, honestly, um, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm actually, I'm, I'm from, you know, the district of mm -hmm. Columbia, you know what I'm saying, my parents are actually, uh, but my mother, mm -hmm. she moved out at a certain age, you know what I'm saying, moved me out, and as um, far as, like, go-go, it's my actual love of music, first, right. first and foremost. Yeah. So uh, that right there was um, a natural love for me. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we didn't have, uh, per se, uh, when I say, you know, people don't understand, like Chuck Brown, you know what I'm saying, Godfather. Uh, uh, That's the piece, brother. You know what I'm yes. saying? Mm -hmm. That right there, um, you know, he he was the um, the vocalist, the, you know what I'm saying, when we say uh, front line. Yeah. So he was on the front line, mm -hmm. and he was the vocalist on the front line. So when I got into rap and introduced the rap, I was like, oh, it's just not a go-go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's actually, you can, you know what I'm saying, make a song, mm -hmm. but it's done in a different way. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. yeah. The inspiration on that, you know, um, 
I was actually, um, they used to have videos back mm -hmm. in the day. I'm not sure, you know, so they used to have shit, uh, you know, Enjoy TV raps. Right, right, right. Jukebox. Yeah, Jukebox. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. on Jukebox, they had, uh, you know, Junkyard Band playing on there. Yeah. You know, I was pressed to watch the take thing on out. Yes. Junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, before that, and then I started, you know, seeing people like, Special Ed, Big Daddy Kane, yeah, you know, Kara Swan. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn, what's this? Yeah, you know, this is new. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Compared to the like the go go, you just hit, you know, you just see the man. Yeah, right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. It's not just like one person per se. Just you know what I'm saying? Actually, just doing the vocals. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, I'm like, wow, you know, this is really something that I, you know, I get interested in. You know what I'm saying? So I start. Uh, Buying tapes, CDs, EPMD. EPMD. You know, Those is yeah, yeah. EPMD. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit so like that, you know. Uh, listen, I match fight, you know, Heavy D. Heavy D. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Heavy D was the man. Yeah. yeah. All that shit, you know what I mean? Other than that, um, Slick Rick. Yeah, hands man. down. The storyteller, man. Yeah, hands down. You know, so when I start hearing shit like that, I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. And then. I didn't want to rehearse too much of that shit, but it's like you couldn't help it, you know, like you said, if you get the walk man on somebody see. Right. Like what the hell he talking about? Right. You saw I see crabs and spirits and hit me in the drum going, hey y'all, uh, hey y'all, uh, hey y'all. Uh. Motherfucker like, what is he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, shit like that. And um, you know, that really gave me an inspiration. I was like, damn, I really like this this culture of uh, music right here. Yeah. Cause, you know, I was I was listening to uh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pressed to say the name, but you know what I'm saying? I said this on him. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, uh, when I was listening to it, man, I just realized that, well, not even realized, but I felt like the pain in it. I felt the, uh, you know, the emotion, you know what I'm saying? And I felt, you know, the authenticity in it, you know what I'm saying? Where do you get your energy or, uh, you know what I'm saying, where, where, where does your, uh, um, your source of, you know, of your creation, like when you're creating your music, where's that? Where's that come from? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. is it is it a personal thing or is it just something that you just sit back and say, I'm gonna write this song today? Uh, well, this sometimes it's a personal thing, mm -hmm. and uh, once I get deeper with the personal thing, it's uh, it really comes out uh, more, um, I guess, touchy. Philly, when I say touchy Philly, I'm I'm trying to actually touch you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With not touch you in that sense. I'm talking about touch your soul, touch your heart. You know what I'm saying? Make you feel the music, and that way it touch you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make you feel the music. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's what my initial job is to actually to make you kind of you know what I'm saying? Feel that. Not saying that yeah. hey, I'm no, no I ain't no killer gangster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ride on this joint. That's not what I'm trying to portray. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Handle my shit like a man. And you know what yeah. I'm saying? With an everyday basis. Right, right, but right, right. That's just mm -hmm. the music that I'm trying to push out. So not taking nothing from nobody else and they ask me. Mm -hmm. And what they do, that's just, you know what I'm saying, through my optic. Right. Exactly. Exactly. That's good. That's good. All right. So uh, the track that's coming out, you know, uh, who played a role in that? You know what I'm saying? Was that something? Was, did you do that by yourself, or was it something? You know what I'm saying? Like a, a squad you was working with at the time, or well, something like that? Definitely, definitely, definitely. I have to say, um, peace to my man Yukon Black. You know what I'm saying? I actually did some recordings over there, mm -hmm. and um, you know he was blessed to um, let me come over there and do. You know what I'm saying? Drop some material over there. Yeah. And I want to shout out to you. Big up, Yukon Black. Black. Hey, yeah, sick of black, baby. Let's yeah. go, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate that love, champ. So, um, that right there, it was a, it was a blessing. Yeah. And um, from that note, he actually gave me a chance to help me produce my own, per se, music in a sense where I've learned from others that's been around me. And when I say produce, he just helped me um, line it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just line it up. Yeah. So he, what you saying about lining up? Like he engineered. It. Kind of. He engineered it, yeah, yeah. He engineered it, and um, I just lined up the pieces where they need to be in the puzzle. Yeah. And, so um, you, so you, uh, like, you have a producer's state of mind. Like, you know how to, like, when you when you write your music, you know where every last little, you know, story piece 
it's going to fall. Um, well, that's, uh, I'm not going to say that because I'm not the actual engineer. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just talking about, and, and let me clarify that, like, you know, when you're writing your music, like sometimes, uh, this how, this how I look at it, when I, sometimes when I write my music, right, mm -hmm. I have a visual. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have a visual, whether it's coming emotionally, consciously, you know, whatever, I have a visual and I know exactly, like in frames, Okay. you know what I'm saying, like how it should be when I get in the studio and I work with whoever engineer and I'm working with at the time, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm like, nah, that don't go there, that go here. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's, that's, that's the kind right, of thing okay, I'm okay, about. Okay, okay, yeah. well, I actually gave the whole visual and um, he actually just, uh, I patented the thing. I patented it. Mm -hmm. um, I grabbed the material. I grabbed the music, mm -hmm. and he actually helped me um, lay it down. Okay. Okay. So when I say lay it down, he actually, you know, what I'm saying, gave me some time to record it. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying, he put his touches where he needed to put his touches, mm -hmm. and um, I kind of like orchestrated everything from there. Okay. And um, the way it was done, like I said, it was a blessing because I didn't go off. Of you know what I'm saying like you know you're not Bogart no one studio you don't never do no shit like that you know what I'm saying it was all a blessing but as far as I'm saying he gave me a a chance to actually let me do it in my way everybody don't let you do it your way. way yeah real so talk. that's what I mean yeah, like, all that long yeah. shit that I was just talking let me just yeah. cut that shit he actually let me do it my way yeah mm -hmm. so uh you know one of the uh, one of the questions that I want to ask you too is. As an artist and coming up in the DMV, you know what I'm saying, and actually being from DC, you know what I'm saying, and in the area, what artists would you be, you know what I'm saying, like that you look forward to working with in in the rap industry, you know what I'm saying, like one of, one of your folks, like somebody that you aspire to, and you say, man, I want to do an album with that dude, you know what I'm saying, or at least a single. You know what I'm saying? Lisa Saint. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Lisa Saint. Well, um, it's a lot of guys out here, you know, that's um I gotta get back up in contact with as far as um, things like that. But first and foremost, I love to do something with my man Toast East. Toast Eastwood? Yeah, you know what I'm Yo, saying? Yo, peace to Toast Eastwood, man, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? You already know. Yeah. Um I love that joke. What's it? What's it called? Uh, too hot for radio. Too hot for TV. Yeah, too hot for yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. That shit hot. That shit fire. But you know, we gonna get you on this motherfucking joke too, man. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead. I'm saying I fuck with the glizzy click. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, it's certain. It, 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 I fuck with shy. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do some other things to holler at him. You know, it's a couple other dudes out know these too that I fuck with hard. And yeah. when I say fuck with like. Music wise, I never got to actually do any, you know what I'm saying, do anything with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, things like that. But, um, you know, that's definitely one, like, you know, that pops in the mind. I love to do a track or Okay. So, what about in, 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 uh, in the big times? Who would you love, you know what I'm saying, to lay a single down with? You know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> Well, you know, it's, 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 you know, man, it's some shit like, I got to say, uh, I would love to do one more man, 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 a song. Definitely do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Definitely dude, do the beats. Yeah. Because, you, you know what I'm saying? I know, I, you know what I'm saying? I know the tight levels, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Acoustic elevation type shit. Okay. So I would love to do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. On an elevation type level. Right. On that note, I got to get one to my man, Rick Ross. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rose. Ross, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Slim, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I fuck with Chant. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, who, uh, I fuck with man Gates, man. Yeah, Gates, Gates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I fuck with Gates. Yeah, Gates and Gates. Yeah. But you know, one thing, too, I had to give another thing, too. I got to say, this is another brother that a lot of people not think of, Tech Nine. Oh. Oh, man, see, I got hey, a little issue with that, y'all. Yeah, tech me on some real shit. Chill. You know what I'm saying? Tech me on some real shit. Real loud, yeah. Yeah, tech me There's on some real shit. You got that shit. one, you know what I'm saying? You got something that a lot, a lot of people, like I say, like you say, um, people listen to the radio. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But now they got the internet where you can actually listen to 
a broad of music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now you don't have to be stuck to one thing all yeah. day. You know what I'm saying? So now you can, you know what I'm saying, get a shuffle on mm -hmm. and do your thing. So what I'm trying to do now is uh, put some music, music out there so I can get my shuffle on. Right, 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 right. And it's funny you said that because, like, me being the artist, man, and like a lot of the music that I fuck with, you know, um, artists that I would love to do joints with, you know what I'm saying? Nas. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love, you know what I'm saying, to do some shit with Nas. You know what I'm saying? I would love to do some shit with, uh, you know what I'm saying, Scarface. You know what I'm saying? The because. And, and I hope you feel about it too, huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I love to do some shit with Snoop. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love to do some shit with Snoop. Snoop bring that part, you know what I'm saying? Bring the bullet to the room one right. more time. Right, you know what I'm saying? I would also love to do it with young, you know what I'm saying? T.I. You know what I'm saying? This T.I. man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, man, he had that album, um, hey, let's see, I'm having a brain fart, man. But, I just took a whole motherfucking album, all his albums, you know what I'm saying? From when he did the rubber band. But, you know, the nigga talk of some shit, you know, and you know what I'm saying, as an artist, you know, we can't say he can say he know it all, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, the snap, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying, he's me, but I think that me and that nigga make a hot ass track, you know what I'm saying, um, Bum B, you know what I'm saying, Mom um, Lee, the whole UGK camp, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Like, we fit in that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, I just think, like, man, it's man, 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 you know what I'm saying? We stopped. You know what I'm saying? We stopped. You know what I'm saying? We stopped. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened to y'all, man, but keep doing what you're doing and you're still doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas still got love for you out here. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but no two artists. You know what I'm saying? But the whole system's fraud. You know, uh, it's a whole camp. You know what I'm saying? I shit solid, polished, no side. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fuck with my shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fuck the shot. I'm gonna shot. You know what I'm saying? I wish it, you know what I'm saying? I can find my man Rude Boy. Hey, Rude Boy. I wish I could find my man Rude Boy. 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 Rude that's happening right now with Black, you know what I'm saying? You said the Black King, you know what I'm saying? Peace the Dragonfly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Born wise, me and that nigga got a uh, track about to drop, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I would like to do a jump with uh, this nigga that's in that camp, nigga fly back to camp, man, his name is Sam. Nigga vicious, you know what I'm saying? Vicious, and I like when he go. I like when he go, I like, I like his style, I like what he do, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, you know, it's all about love, man. It's all about love out here, you know what I mean? We, we out this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Be stuck, seeing well, you know what I'm saying? We doing our thing, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave the comments. Please, please do, cause we will respond, you know what I'm saying? We will respond to it, you know what I'm saying? We will respond to it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And that, you know what I'm saying? You know, we busy a little bit, but, you know, we see, we're gonna holler back, you know what I mean? Doses.